Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about conditional if type 1 and type 2. Let's open page 55. Let's explain first conditional if type 1. Okay, I use conditional if type 1 to predict the result of an action in the future to refer that something is possible to happen in the present or in the future. Okay, here, what is the form of type 1? If present symbol, okay, and next one it will be will plus the main verb. Okay, like what? If a super volcano erupts, the climate will change. So, the first clause or the main clause it will be present symbol put the verb in the present symbol okay and the next one it will be will plus the main verb if okay. we continue cutting down trees animals will lose their natural habitat okay so conditional type one i'm gonna talk about possible situation in the present or the future Unless we reduce our household waste, we'll run out of places to put it. Okay, we have unless. Unless we use it instead of if not. Okay, so unless we use it instead of if not. The verb after unless is always in the affirmative. Unless we reduce our household waste, we will run out of places to put it. Okay, let's speak about type 2. Okay, I use conditional F type 2 to speak about uh, things that is impossible to happen in the future. Okay, so things that are impossible to happen in the future. It means unreal or unlikely to happen in the future. Okay, like what? Like, if this ring was gold, I would sell it. So, it is not likely to happen in the future. What would you do if I told you that you only had three months left to live? If you told me that I only had three months left to live, I would ask for a second opinion. Okay, so... Conditional type 2, I'm talking about imaginary or unlikely situation in the present of a uh, future. Okay, so I'm talking about imaginary situations that is impossible to happen in the future. Okay, so exercise number 5, read the poster use the verbs in the correct form to complete it. I have recycle, plant, save, not lose, not waste, not buy, and be. Okay, speaking about conditional type 2, I use the form with it. The main clause it will be F plus past symbol. Then the second clause will be would plus the main verb. Okay, Number one, if we plant trees, we will reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay, number two, if we stop cutting down trees, animals space their habitats. Okay, so animals, I have here present symbol, so what shall I put in here? Yes, okay, will or won't plus the main verb plus the main verb. So, if we stop cutting down trees, animals, okay, excellent, won't lose their habitats. Okay, number three, if we space products from endangered species, we will help them survive. Okay, I have will plus the main verb in the second clause. So, what shall I put Okay, in the main one, okay, I will put the verb in the present symbol. Okay, so which one? Okay, if we don't buy products from endangered species, we will help them survive. Excellent. Okay, number four, if we don't leave 
all our lights on we energy okay so we okay i have here present symbols so, so here i will put will plus the main verb or want plus the main verb okay so we will save i can use we will save or we won't waste okay number five if we space paper we will save our firsts okay so here okay if we excellent recycle paper we will save our firsts number six if we don't leave taps running we space water okay so here okay i have also present symbol here i will put will plus the main verb or won't plus the main verb okay so here also we won't waste water or we will save water both are correct okay number seven if we learn to respect the environment our planet a better place a better place to live in okay so here will be will be a better place to live in let's go to exercise number seven listen and complete the missing information And now, something for all listeners who want to see our town looking better. There will be a town clean-up day next Sunday. That's Sunday the 19th of November. People will be put in teams to pick up rubbish from streets, gardens, parks and ponds. Then, at the end of the day, the teams will take the bottles and cans to the town recycling centre. If you would like to take part in this fun day, the meeting point is at the entrance to Tri Hill Park at 10 a.m. Don't forget to bring a good, strong pair of gardening gloves and plenty of water to drink. For more details, contact Peter on 0122 222 3388. Everyone welcome. The more the merrier. Okay, so number two. Okay, what shall I put in here? Yeah, pick up rubbish. Okay, what about number three? Take bottles and cans to recycling center. The meeting point, Tri Hill Park. For more details, contact Peter. Thank you for listening. See you in another time. Goodbye.